My name is Spencer Cummins and I'm playing the role of Sergeant Beck. Uh, my role is, I guess, that I'm the physical threat in the play compared to um, Commandant Bear's psychological threat. My name is Robert Harding and I play Commandant Richard Bayer. I think the writer, uh, Michael, um, deliberately didn't want to make it um, a, a violent play about Auschwitz. It's much more about the relationships between two men and, uh, and, and four characters, um, if you like. My name is Chris Westgate. I'm playing Solomon Colwell. Solomon is uh, very much a survivor in the camp. He's been there probably slightly longer than Menahem Stressler and we've interpreted him as being the the expert on bees. So in a way he is um, what keeps Menahem Stressler alive. We ran a, a new writing initiative uh, last year called Pulse and uh, we had over 80 uh, applications for it and the beekeeper was a winning play for me it was not only a great piece of writing and a, and a great story uh, it also uh, had the potential to really get a quite a wide audience I thought you know I felt it, it, it spoke to a, it would speak to a, a wide variety of people a large demographic and it has as it, at its core a really fascinating premise, a really fascinating story. My name's uh, Elliot Jarell Rocker and I play uh, Stressler in the play, who's the, the beekeeper. I think the writer's doing a very brave thing, which is to try and take a massive, massive thing like the Holocaust and to focus it down on a, on a sort of relationship between a commandant and a Jewish prisoner. And it's that, that relationship that plays itself out, which in a way becomes a metaphor for the whole of the you know, the whole of the Holocaust, which is quite a, you know, a big feat, to, a, big, a big thing to take on. I think that what Michael Ashton has done is written something which can be interpreted in many ways. The subtext has a lot of different layers. It was a huge challenge, a huge challenge, because it's, um, you're dealing with very naked emotions. So it's not a play in which you can hide very much. You're carrying the story from beginning to end, which is, which is great as an actor, a great challenge. Um, I think the, what attracted me, me to the, the, the project really was Michael Ashton. Um, Michael and I are working on another project and we met very briefly and I think there's a bond that's been created very rapidly. Um, he's an incredibly warm human being. You go through an enormous amount of emotional journey from you know from the depths of despair up to coming to the a sort of position of power at the end. What has attracted me wasn't specifically the story but actually was an opportunity to take a very powerful and a very successful stage play and work with the actual authentic writer uh, who was so respectful to my ideas about making it into a film and to carry on the process and that's where we are. It, it, it's just, it's very powerful writing. Um, when we sat down and had the first read through, there was, there was silence in the room for a good 30 seconds after the conclusion of the read through. And I just think any, any writing that can be that powerful, I, I want to be a part of that. 